money on research and development. So now we're at, we've added these new parts, which are science-based. Because instead of just rating your own game as you play and trying to figure out like uh, the scientific value of your mission, we're letting players do science for themselves. So basically, this lets you uh, put a science bay on your ship, take it up to space, or take it to the surface of a planet, run an experiment, and gather data. So, but data in itself isn't science. You need to get that data back to Kerbin so your scientists can crunch the numbers and advance the knowledge of Kerbal County. So for that, you can either land back and recover the spacecraft, or you can use the communications antennas and uh, all that gear that we've already had in the game that previously didn't do anything. Now they have a new purpose, which is to beam back that data and make science out of the experiments you've run. So we're pretty excited about that. I think that um, it lets players try out new ways of uh, playing the game and uh, it'll hopefully also ease the entry barrier because right now we have like about 160 or so new parts in the game. So for a new player, it's very easy to get lost in the multitude of content. So with the tech tree that we're seeing out here, um, each node in the tech tree unlocks a couple of new parts for you. So as you evolve through it, you're hopefully going to get a, m a much more gradual understanding of uh, what everything is. And now this here is one of the most requested features that we've had. It's called sub-assemblies. And uh, basically what this lets you do is take a chunk of your spacecraft and save that as one component that you pull out later and attach to another spacecraft. So it's something that uh, people have been asking for for a long time and it lets you do a lot of interesting things like you can have a booster stage that you can use on any number of spacecraft, or you can have a, a lander that you pop on top of the rocket you just built, or uh, you can do it the other way around. And another interesting thing is that this lets you bridge the space plane hangar facility, which we're seeing right now, with the vehicle assembly building. So say you've built a, uh, a shuttle-like aircraft in the space plane hangar, which you've already tested and you know it works, and you want to launch it coupled to a rocket. You can now move over to the vehicle assembly building and in there you can build the rocket and later bring in the shuttle you built before and attach it as part of the rocket. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much the same thing that NASA does or you can just do um, that, whatever <laughs> that is. Yeah, that's a thing. It's a thing. Um, yeah. So. Um, so that should make the whole thing a lot more user friendly. We're really excited about this feature. Mm. Hopefully, uh, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, cool very cool. One.